So if you guys caught my last video where I'm talking about my Prius C and the air conditioning being inoperative, I'm troubleshooting it here and uh, you can see there's a shot on my scan tool here. Uh, I don't work in kilopascals. That should be probably obvious to some of you. If you look at the value, uh, 3,220 kilopascals does not in any way, shape or form translate to 0 0.5 PSI. Well, that made me to start making some decisions that are completely incorrect. And the video that follows will try and unravel that rubbish. The air conditioning system is inoperative and we actually have this DTC. Um, I showed you on the condenser, I believe it is leaking. It's the replacement condenser sitting on the table here. Um, but strangely, um, there's a bit of a contradiction in the scan tool data here. No, it's just a cheap Chinese um, laptop based uh, scan tool. Um, <laughs> it always leaves you wondering when they refer to refrigerant pressure as uh, regulator pressure. And you can see here in the value, um, this is an extremely high pressure, high enough to actually inhibit the system from operating. And yet, at the same time, I have a refrigerant shortage check on um, value in the scan tool data here. So that really makes no sense at all. Um, let me give you the correct value for this. And uh, in the manual it actually mentions um, if you have this DTC, you're looking at uh, either an extremely high pressure, right, which is uh, referring to anything greater than uh, 3140 kPa, which translates to uh, 450 psi, a ridiculously high pressure, so it makes sense the system would inhibit. Or you have a low pressure, right, which is um, anywhere below 28 psi, which I believe is the case. I think there's next to nothing in the system, in spite of the fact that the scan tool data is showing this. This is live at the moment here, guys. This makes no sense. Let's see if we can square this. I don't know, the ambient temperature is maybe 22-ish, something like that, Celsius. Do you see these figures? I'm hooked up to the low and high side here. I did not expect to see this. It's telling me there's basically 82 pounds of pressure. The, of course, the high side and the low side will balance. I was expecting to see near zero. Why is the car telling me there's like 469 pounds of pressure from this sensor? Unless the sensor is reporting an erroneous value and that's why it's inhibited the uh, air conditioning operation. And this is a no doubt a five volt sensor. So I can check the value on this and then cross check it in the manual if it does give you any values to see if this is erroneous or my scan tool is reporting an erroneous value. I don't know. Let's see if we can find out. None of this changing the fact there's a massive oil stain in the middle of the condenser there. But huh, I didn't expect to see that pressure. And I don't know how Google gave me that weird conversion value last week weird I don't know confluence of errors some on my part some assumptions made on my part Let's see if we get to the bottom of this okay I'm making an assumption here it seems to have bitten me in the ass because uh, in spite of the fact that I was pretty certain there was a leak in this car because of the oil stain on the condenser it doesn't seem to be the case the pressure seems normal although the pressure sensor is reporting 37.15 this time the units are kilograms of force per cubic centimeter but it still translates to over 500 psi so the system is inoperative because of excessive pressure or at least it thinks there's excessive pressure um, and that's why it's inoperative not because of low pressure and yet the refrigerant low check is on on the other scan tool I don't get it this is getting a wee bit strange for me I'm not sure to follow the plot line here but what I can do is disconnect the uh, the connector um, 
Maybe that's the issue. Maybe this is the default high pressure sensor. Maybe there is an open on the uh, on that line, and that's why it's gone to this default high pressure. I wonder if that's possible. Perhaps I shouldn't dismiss dismiss that possibility. That that is basically thinking the connector is adrift or the wire is adrift, and that is the default high pressure. Hmm. Because the sensor probably pulls it to ground as the pressure gets lower. Let me think about this. Of course, the tradesman across the street working on that house starts giving her shit with the saw as soon as I come out to make a video. That's about right in it. So let me uh, let me just disconnect this connector here. Let's see what the value has actually changed. There's no change in the value. That seems like a default uh, high pressure, doesn't it? Here's a notation here in the manual. If the refrigerant pressure on the high side becomes extremely high, or the sensor is telling the car that the, extreme, the refrigerant uh, pressure is becoming extremely high, if the voltage exceeds uh, 4.8 volts, the fail-safe function stops the compressor operation. I think that's what I've got because it looks like um, we've got a, the sensors reporting a faulty uh, pressure. Let's continue to and dig here. Some color coding go by here now. So it's the gray wire that's reporting the pressure. Back to the air conditioning amplifier. Again, 5 volt reference, return, and the, uh, the active uh, signal back to the amplifier itself on the gray wire. But I guess I could load it up here maybe pull the value to ground and see if the scan tool value changes and that'll check the integrity of the wire i think it's more likely that the pressure sensor is maybe the i don't know if it's a diaphragm that's ruptured inter internally and just gone to the high i'm not sure let's take a look okay so at the sensor five volt ref the ground and the uh, signal let's check them all yes we'll do so briefly 5 volt reference. The ground. Zero. Let's make the assumption that that's okay for the time being. Auxiliary, the battery is in the, under the back seat here. So it gives you a, a jump point basically. Just checking it with the ground. Let me just check we have a good ground on this pin here, which we do. Again, just in the interest of thoroughness. And then the signal. So at 80 PSI, you'd suspect this would be probably somewhere around 3 volts-ish, 2.5 volts, I don't know. And it is not. Okay. So um, let's pull this to ground maybe through a lamp, and we'll see how it affects the uh, scan tool value. Right, so what I decided to do, guys, is a bit of a safer option, I think, is use my decade box here to load the, uh, the signal uh, going back to the uh, air conditioning amplifier. So I'll just load this up with uh, um, my decade box, and it should drive the, uh, the value of the, the volts and hence the pressure, change the pressure, assuming that this wiring integrity is okay back to it, and we're dealing with a sensor fault here, which I think we are. So let me just, again, Basically put the decade box in parallel here. <clears throat> Where'd it go? Where'd it go? The decade box. Again, I'm just going to put it in parallel here. It's almost 10,000 ohms. And you can see the value has dropped there. So I think it is just the sensor. You can see we've dropped it about a tenth of the uh, pressure value. So that should be around 50 PSI, 45 PSI. Let me do the math. I'll do the conversion. I'll just alter the value here, guys. And you can see the pressure is altering, as is the voltage going back to the air conditioning amplifier. So it should be able to turn on the AC, I believe, by simulating a pressure here. Let me just double check that we have a reasonable pressure here. And mind you, this is high side pressure. So uh, this might be too low of a high side pressure. Let me do the math. 
So I've just dialed in another 5K here, guys. And I've brought the value down to 1.4 ohms. And it's changed the pressure. It's brought it up to uh, just shy of 7 bar there. I've changed the units and managed to figure it out. Although I can't get PSI it goes to bar. That's still no good for me. But what's that, around 100 PSI? Um, so that's pretty close to where the pressure actually is. So I'm going to turn the AC on. I think the AC should run, and we'll be able to tell, of course, by the pressures, and if we get any cooling. I hope this is no mistake. I think there's some risk involved here because the compressor is going to go to target speed trying to achieve temperatures and pressures, but we'll start with a reasonable uh, demand on the system here. See what we get. And it's operating. As you can see. Compressor's operating close to the target speed. Of course, we have a fixed value on the scan tool because it's a dummy with respect to the pressure. But pretty close to what we actually have. You can hear the compressor running. This isn't a leak, this is a sensor failure. I'll carry on with a sensor uh, replacement in another part, guys. I think this proves the point. That's it. Cheers. Yeah, take my word for it. That is cooling. Cool.